Flat Earthers, Flurfers, Dumbasses. All amazing names to call these people. Hi, I'm Incorrect Entertainment, and today we're going to go over the stupidest pseudoscience known to this round planet. What grinds my gears so much about Flat Earthers is they're so prideful in their ignorancy. You can ask them the most simple questions such as, oh, how does gravity work on your flat disc? They'll say, gravity doesn't exist. Gravity is just a theory. They, they, they go into their little heads. They, they go watch Oppenheimer. They're like, oh, theory only takes you so far. And they take that so fucking literally to the, to the point where they just don't believe in gravity. Even though, like, yeah, sure, sure, Newtonian gravity is just a theory because it breaks down on the particle level. When, when things get small, gravity sort of fucks up. But on the larger scale, such as the universal law of gravity, like planets and shit, it works relatively well. So guess what they do? They're like, oh, the universe doesn't exist. <laughs> We're the center of the- we are the universe. All those planets in the sky are just little microbes, dots of water that are above this dome. Because God wants us to be- like, I'm, I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fucking- oh god. Oh god. Uh, I'm sorry, I had a mental breakdown. Uh, let's just move on to another one of their stupid-ass topics. Uh, I asked them a question such as, Okay, so if the Earth is flat, how do the sun and moon work? They say, oh, they're inside of this dome relatively close to us. And by relatively close, they mean 300 miles above the surface of this quote-unquote flat Earth. I ask, how the fuck do we not burn up? Because, you know, the, the sun is a big-ass nuclear furnace of plasma. They say, oh, it's not a it's not a star, it's a fucking light source. It is a light some of them believe that the sun is relative to your position, like not relative to your position. They think that there are multiple suns. Like each person on Earth experiences a different sun. What the f how the fuck does that work? Then they'll go into like, oh, spirituality, religion and stuff like that, even though we're talking about rough science, uh, like, if anything, if anything, if I could give them kudos on one thing, at least they're trying to do science. They're trying. Like, when I say trying, I mean science if it was held together by a, by dog shit and tape. Not even duct tape. That weird ass fucking clear tape. Like, mmm. Another question I can ask them about this same topic is how the hell do the sun and moon stay in the air? If they're really stupid, they'll block me or walk away from the conversation. If they're less stupid, but still very stupid, they'll say quantum locking, hoping I don't know what quantum means. But, low known fact, uh, I've studied physics for five years. I know what quantum means. And quick science lesson, if any like pseudoscience geek brings up the word quantum and you're like, oh, I don't know what that means, here's the definition. Smallest form of matter we can measure. That's it. It's not, it's not that hard. That's all that quantum means. So like a photon is the smallest form of light we can study. So that's a quantum measurement of light. Pretty easy. So use that if you're ever in an argument with like a, a fucking manifestation geek or whatever. Hi, I'm the Incorrect Editor, and I'm just stopping by to say, if you're enjoying the video, you should probably like and subscribe. It's not going to hurt anybody, and it's free. If anything, it's just going to help me get a boner tonight. Thanks. And when these flat earthers bring up quantum locking, I'm like, oh, you just made your day so much worse. And like, before we even get into the conversation, I just ask them, what does quantum mean? 50% of them just walk away. The other 50% say stupid shit like, it's a mini universe within our universe. And some of them will say some relatively not stupid shit like, oh, atoms, particles. They grasp the general concept of quantum. So, but like, after that, I just ask them, so what is quantum locking? And without fail, every single time, they say, I don't know. Because they're fucking stupid. I mean, there was this one time that this fucking ancient Egypt nerd was like, oh, I know what quantum locking is, he listed like a Google definition of it, and then I was like, okay, so how does the flat earth create a magnetic field? This motherfucker brought up chakras. If you don't know what chakras are, I don't blame you because I barely know what the fuck they are. Basically, they're, they're different colored flowers in a line, and they do different shit, like, I'll put a photo up of like, 
you've probably seen the photo, you just don't know what the fuck they're called, but, like, I'll put the, uh, 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 fuck me, this is giving me a goddamn headache, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sign this off here, this is too much stupid shit for me today, uh, I hope you like the rant, I'm gonna be posting more frequently, so, like and subscribe for that, and, uh, Garfield...